Hey, this is YBR back with Street Legal Racing Redline, and I've decided to keep using this car for as long as I possibly can because to get a car that's faster than this would be absurdly expensive, and I think my best bet in terms of finances is to just keep upgrading this. Now, the next thing I want to upgrade is the rear suspension because when we launch like this, you notice there's still quite a bit of wheel spin even though we got the fattest, grippiest tires we possibly can. So the next thing you could try to do to get rid of all that wheel spin is to upgrade the suspension. So we're going to just entirely remove the current suspension setup on both of these. And then we're going to try upgrading basically just the trailing arm, actually. I think we could get away with just upgrading that and it'll help enough. Because the ones we have right now, they're pretty damaged and they're not exactly the ideal ones for racing. They're just like stock ones. I'm going to look for ones that were made for racing. So just scanning through here looking for things let's say like racing or something like that or gt sport anything like that because a lot of these are just the stock ones you get in a stock car that's not what i'm looking for i'm looking for ones that uh, say that like gt2 that sounds like the kind you would want so we want the rear right and rear left and we're going to go ahead and install those and we're going to use the same springs and shocks because i don't think we'll need to upgrade those we might but I think we'll be able to get away with just using the ones we already got. Let me put the brakes on. And then last, we're going to put the tires back on. And then we're going to test this out. So let's see if it's any faster now. We still got some wheel spin, but wow. It, it feels like it's going a lot faster right there. Like, I think it's definitely faster. Or I'm just imagining it. I'm crazy, but I'm pretty sure it's faster. In fact, I almost feel confident saying this thing is so fast that we could just win the whole game outright with this. I almost feel confident saying that. So let's try to do that. We're going to swap out the tires for a fresh set and we're going to win the whole game. Or maybe we'll have to come back for another set of tires. I don't know how long they'll last, but we're going to throw some new ones on just to give me the best possible chance at this. The big tires go back on wherever they are. There we go. And let's go try this out. And I was kind of worried that it wouldn't be considered nighttime still because it's a little bit bright out, but apparently it is, and we can still do drag racing. Awesome. I don't know if it'll actually eventually kick me out of drag racing because it's considered daytime or if we could just keep drag racing the whole time, even though it's going to be basically daytime in a few hours in the game. We'll find out. So first race, who wants to go against the new and improved version of the car that was whooping on everyone and everything? You do? Oleg Gromov? In your hauler, that's a truck. Well, actually, I think there's some that are called hauler that aren't trucks, but that one's a truck because it had the 500 in it. Three. You ain't gonna stand a chance. Nuh uh, nuh uh. Bye! Bye! Yeah! Wow. Wow. That's the first guy I've raced who has the red classified car, and he got destroyed. Absolutely destroyed there. There is something about this car that is game brokenly fast. It's breaking the game, making the car way faster than it should be, is what I mean to say. There is no way this car should be just destroying the competition the way it is, but somehow it is. And I truly can't explain it. Something's glitched with the turbos, and they're running at way more PSI than they should be. And I'm pretty sure the graph that tells you how much horsepower it's making is totally broken as well, because this thing seems to be making way more power than it says it is. Although you could always go way faster in this game than the horsepower would let on, I think. But this thing seems absurd. Like, absolutely absurd. This guy, he got like a little car. Yeah, no. No, no. Look at this. No nitrous, just all engine and turbo. That is, that's just wrong. That is wrong how fast this car is. I am so glad I stuck with this car. I was really that close to... To a replacing it one time because I was feeling like I was getting outclassed. You just gotta believe. You believe in the power of this little trooper that'll last forever. I truly wonder how long the chassis will last until it says, you know what, this chassis is so beat up you shouldn't be driving it anymore. But apparently it's not affecting the way it drives one bit. Or maybe it is. Maybe somehow the damaged chassis is making it drive faster. I don't know. And I really don't care as long as it keeps working. Back it up, back it up. Next up, Hauler 67 Badge. That's a muscle car. Not going to stand a chance still. Well, it's the first one that looks like it might. And the other one, a pickup truck and a, a car that didn't have that fat of tires. This one, the tire's a little bit fatter. 
Kind of got like that drag stance to it, but nah, nah, you just there for looks. Come on, what's this? That's not a real drag car, is it? You just a poser. Right, he's gonna go and crash somewhere. You have fun with that. Oh, you didn't crash, you was just making sure you didn't hit me. What a polite guy. Good thing I didn't go in the same direction as him, otherwise I would've got hit. My one brake light. I can't believe it though, how badly they beat up on my car in these earlier races. Like that's thousands of dollars in body panels basically that I have to eventually replace. I mean, I guess I don't have to, I haven't up until this point, so why bother? I probably should eventually though, I'm not gonna. I probably should, not gonna, unless like the game really gives me a reason to. It's staying the way it is. Maybe even more weight reduction if there's another accident. I mean, that trunk, that's not doing me any favors. It's just making my car heavier. I can get off the line faster with less weight. And that looks like a pretty safe spot to be. Oh, their truck spun out, so we're good. I call it, what were they even driving? I was so not paying attention. Were they driving a truck? And I'm like, they were driving a truck, right? I don't know. All I know is that they don't stand a chance. I'm so, like, Relax, I'm not even paying attention. That's bad. Like, it just feels like every win is automatic at this point. They're that bad. Okay, the braking right there, I gotta work on that. I keep overshooting it like a dummy. Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. Participate. Number 16 is PFAA Whisper R1. That's a regular car. Kind of looks a little Dodge Viper-ish. My car sounds so plain up until like 6,000 RPMs. And then, boom, the power comes on at 6,000 plus. And even though that guy has a car that looks so much faster, he got obliterated. I might get obliterated, don't you dare. Oh, he stopped better than me. I think I got a good amount of braking right now, actually. Like, I could put another set of brakes on the rear and brake even better, which would give me the ability to steer, probably. But the amount of braking I have right now is a good amount where I could stop before I crash into something and then the AI doesn't actually hit me. If I put more braking on, then I'm going to stop too fast and the AI will slam into me at the end of the races, which will be devastating to my car. Much worse than not being able to brake as far as I'm concerned, because not being able to brake, I can at least kind of steer and fix things up. Oh, just hit a pole a little bit. I blame the pole. I'm flawless. It's not my fault. All right, Hauler 67 badge, that's another muscle car. Oh, look at you with your fancy, fancy supercharged engine, your side exhaust, and you got a blower. Oh yeah, uh-huh, you so fast. Check this out, this is what power looks like. That's power. You all for show, I'm all for go. I said that before, but it's so true. Like their cars look so much faster than mine, and then my car just starts racing and they're, they're done for. The magic voodoo car that makes absolutely no sense and it seems to always get faster after every race. That's the thing, doesn't it seem like it's getting faster after every race? If anything, it should get slower because the engine's getting worn down more and then the tires are also getting worn down more so you have less traction, but nah. It just seems to get faster every time and better and better and better. No logical sense how, it just does. Craziest car ever and I love it. Love every bit of driving it. Next. Oh, you got a fancy sounding car. It's GT2. I got GT2 parts on mine in the suspension. I think actually maybe that's the car I have my suspension kind of stolen from. Let's see. Can you put the power down like me? Answer. No. Bye bye again. The races are over way too fast. Like, before I know it, up, oh, race is done. That was quick, wasn't it? I think I spend more time spinning the camera and driving back than I do actually racing. Well, I actually definitely do because I drive slower going backwards. I almost spend as much time just spinning the camera as I do racing, probably. And by the way, I'm not spinning the camera. It does it automatically. Same, like, just like the braking, it does it automatically. You have no control over that. It just brakes for you and hopefully you don't crash. You got a limited edition car, huh? Alright, show me how fast it can be. Make me think I need a faster car. Just make me think it. I'm gonna beat you anyways, but make me think it's a challenge. Come on, you can't even do that? 
He's actually keeping up a little bit, but just a little bit. Oh, he's coming in faster than me. Oh, he's going off to the side. Good. We're safe. We're safe. Thought for a second I might get hit. No. Like I said, I have the perfect amount of braking to make sure I don't get hit. It's lovely. You know, nobody respects this car. I only have 244 out of 329 respects. I don't get it why it's not like a million out of that amount. At least I think that's what those numbers are. I can't remember for certain. Like 2 out of 13, that has to do with the ranking. Like there's 13 people uh, ahead of me or whatever. Oh, I'm number 13, I mean. And there's that many I have to beat ahead of me. 12. So another guy with a fancy looking muscle car. That thing is fat tires. It's got the suspension like looking down like it's about to really go. Let's see. No. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Yet another win for the amazing Baron Devil Sport 3.6. Sure it's not a 6.3 the way this thing is putting down power. Engine is ridiculous. And you know the, the worst thing about this car, but simultaneously the best thing is? I'll never be able to build a car like this again. I don't think I will because it's just, it's so particular in the way it has all the body panels falling off. All the damage, the engine that's just the regular engine with a turbo thrown on it that's glitched to absurd horsepower. There's no way. No way. This guy doesn't even have his engine sticking out of his hood. Come on, how fast could you be? Your engine fits in your hood. Oh wait, so does mine. You sound fast, but you ain't. You ain't. Not at all. I mean, they are fast. I'm just faster. I, mean, I don't know what else to say in this situation. They're getting beat so badly. It's not even fair. You win the race. Next. We're going to go through all these and then we're going to be doing some other stuff. I just want to do the drag races so I could stack some money beforehand. Because this game doesn't have cheats on the mo uh, available at the moment. I could duplicate my car and then just sell it if I really wanted money. I like doing things legit. I like earning my money and then spending it. Not just having money and suddenly it's just not as fun to me like unless i'm doing it for a very specific reason like maybe i had my game glitch out on me and i lost a ton of money then i would cheat it but otherwise oh my goodness his car sounds fast it's not <laughs> you just hear his car like a banshee over there I was like okay what are you doing man and then i just take off and win easy anyways yeah that's that was a a very unexpected sound like, it sounded way different than any other car. Right, right. Trying to think if I've heard it before, but I don't pay that much attention. I might have, but I can't remember it. So that right there, the spinning around the camera and then the spinning my car around. That's definitely as long as a single race. That is sad. Oh no, a little bit of contact. I just used them as a ramp though. Like, that was the lightest hit I could have possibly had for that speed. That is so lucky. Oh, a Lux 4000, huh? What's that look like? All these dudes with these fancy cars. Like, he got a mid-engine car. It's like supercharged. It probably costs 10 times more to mine or something. <laughs> Don't care. Bye-bye. Hey, let me slow down a little early for you. I, I tried to give you a chance. Harder to do it than you would expect. He actually had some speed at the end, though. Because they don't usually go that far when they, after the race. Unless they were in the air because they crashed a little bit. That is a much faster car than the ones I've been racing. Oh, no, my hood. Oh, I'm sad now. I don't have a hood anymore. Where the hood at? I left it behind. That's where it at. That's too bad. That's like another $800 right there to replace. Keep overshooting this. So reckless. Like, I just want to race. And then I can't race because I race. I tried too hard to race. DLH 700. That sounds like a van. Like, DHL van. Not. It sounds like one. One headlight. No hood. No bumper. No fenders. No door. Was it just me or did the car seem to lift up a little bit more? Like, it almost did a little bit of a wheelie right there. 
And before, I don't think it ever did that. Is it because my hood's gone and I got less weight on the front? Or maybe it's the hood's gone and then the aerodynamics are screwed up too. It could be both. Either way, I might have to uh, watch out for that because I don't think it was doing that earlier. So, whoa! It was definitely not doing that earlier. No, uh it was not doing that. I mean, it shouldn't do that in an actual race because right there I had reverse momentum and then I floored it. So it really put a lot of weight on those rear wheels starting or causing it to uh, pop up like that. I don't think it'll do it on a normal drag race. But I'm afraid if I get more power, it might. I wonder if it's just like the power keeps getting more and more and now it's just popping wheelies because it has more power. I really don't know what's going on. Like the game is broken right now, but I'm just taking full advantage of it. Tiny wheelie, just a tiny bit so they know that I can if I wanted to, right? You know, I bet if I stiffened up the suspension, I could probably pull off a serious wheelie. I'm totally happy with the way the car's performing right now, though, so I don't want to mess with it. Like, if this car was having any issue, I would go and mess with it. But it's so perfect, I just want to win all these races so I can get some races with some corners in them. Six more left. A little repetitive, I know, I know. But it's for the money, which will allow us to do more fun things. No, I don't want to watch. I want to participate. I want to show these guys who's a boss. This guy got a truck, really? Pretty sure that's what the name is. Yep, that's a truck. You're not going to win. You're really not going to win, dude. See? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Oh, he crashed fast. I'm running out of insults. <laughs> I'm running out of like insults to say to them because it's like I've said it every time. I mean, I can't even pretend like they have a chance. You see how I'm just dusting them every time? Well, that was interesting. <laughs> just up on uh, two wheels for a second because I hit the curb. Not see that coming. And I should probably replace these front wheels. They're getting pretty beat up. The engine is holding up spectacularly, though. I would think the amount of power it's putting through it, it would have threatened to blown up or something. No, not at all. Oh, look at you with your, like, million-dollar car or some nonsense, right? Yeah, you're going to lose. Doesn't matter how expensive it is, it's not glitched out, so it doesn't stand a chance. You know, the funniest thing is, though, is the fact that the glitch was 100% unintentional I don't know how I did it and I can never do it again oh I've become the top five racer of the red flames racing club and I now have the position into the race of the champions all right but I'm not number one am I got one more race to do before I become the red flames racing champion that's what I'm here for to be the best I'm not here to be top five I'm here to be the best like, is it going to be a big difference now that I'm in the top five? Is that way you don't have to be the best one? Like, I expect these next dudes to be even faster, but I don't think they can be because those other cars were already as fast as they could probably make them. I would think. Really? That's what I'm racing? That's, what? That's like a starter car. Are you serious? All right, he sounds a little bit different than mine probably would have, but... He actually is going decently fast but I don't think he's going as fast as the other guys who I was racing well maybe he was he just had a really bad launch because he's front-wheel drive I don't know that car just does not fit ha you win the race. just a little tap on the sign to make it fall over that's a teeny teeny boop and the sign goes down three more and I'll have nearly a hundred thousand dollars at the end of this Oh, what could I spend it on? Maybe some body panels, right? Maybe I'll just repair this thing up. I don't know. I'm kind of debating about if I want to abandon this car after I, unless it's like particularly for, or specifically for drag racing or not. Like I could use it as my dedicated drag car and have one that's actually made for street racing or I could use it too. The problem is, is I risk crashing it on street racing. Where drag racing, I feel pretty confident I won't crash it. And if I crash it and it breaks and the engine falls out, I won't be able to get all that power again. It'll be gone forever. It's one of those risks you have to take. 
I mean, whenever I finish the race, I'm making sure I'm extra careful to not crash into anything and stay close to the center of the road like I do right there. And they crashed before they even got to the finish line. I could have beat them with basically any car in the game, probably, because they crashed <laughs> that fast. Uh, you right. fool. Why would you even challenge me? Shouldn't I have just been ranked number one after you saw my times or faster than any of the times anybody else in this club has put up? Nah, they're just gonna say, oh, you're only rank three now. Even though you could decimate everybody else, you're rank three. I'll show you a rank three. You got a face, huh? And your PFAA Whisper Q1000XL. It should be XS because it large means you'll go slower. Oh, you got fancy looking. What is that red stuff? Is that the engine? Oh, it sounds fast. Haha, <laughs> it sounds fast. He's sl he's so slow. What's up with him? He's like. I mean, come on, for number two, he was awful. The guy who I was saying, that's a starter car? Yeah, he beat him for sure. I think they just finished. I heard brake squeals. Like, they could blew up their engine at the start, maybe, and coast it the whole way. That's the only way I could think of them being that slow. All right, now for number one, and then the repetition will end, and we'll get to do some fun things. In the next video, it'll probably be, because this video's probably been going on for over 20 minutes, which is, uh, in my books, a decently long video. All right, so what car does the number one person have? They have a Baron Cuba Sport DTM. Wait a minute. I have a Baron, don't I? Oh, it's the Baron Devil Sport versus the Coupe Sport. The Coupe Sport is just the, um, the Coupe version. I have the convertible. This is a race. Nitrous. What what is overkill? That right there. I used nitrous and I totally didn't need to. They have a nice looking uh, car though compared to mine. I gotta admit that their car looked cool. Mine, yeah, it doesn't really look cool. You win the race. Function over form, right? So, anyways, that will do it. Until next time, this has been YBR, the number one racer in Street Legal Racing Redline Red Car Group. Till next time, I'll see you. Side note, the car is now apparently running 8 bars of boost, or 117.59 PSI, which is just absolutely absurd. The only cars I could think of that get to that high of boost would be like diesel drag cars. It is that high. And then, this is a twin turbo setup, so we have two turbos that are stacking onto each other, each putting out 8 bars of boost. So the amount of boost in this thing is just basically impossible for how reliable the engine has been. Yet, according to the dyno chart, oh, it only gives out 678 horsepower. That's all. No, it doesn't. 678 horsepower doesn't get you up to 280 miles per hour in the blink of an eye. This thing is broken and absurd and awesome.